Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a sister tag. Slash, <laughs> my sister is back because I'm not here. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Two emojis. Exclamation mark. Kissy emoji, love heart emoji. I'm going to introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Joy Brenda Ifnaya Obilo. Mm. Call me Jay Z. You know, I am the CEO. <laughs> Of an ethical fashion brand, JV Signature. That's J A Y B Z underscore signature on Instagram. So I make wonderful, beautiful, luxurious crochet items. So you've gone for NYC. That means you're a graduate. What did you study? Why have you been official? <laughs> what did you study? They wait, need to know. wait, hold on. I've gone. I am serving. I've gone for the okay, camp. Okay. I'm still serving yeah. until the one year is done. I'm still. I'm still sorry. Um, I studied agric and bioresources engineering with a major in structures and environmental conservation. Heard that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so heading into today's video. My first question for you is Would you like to reveal where you got posted to? Mm. <laughs> I got posted, as they would always say every morning on Paragon, a five star camp, mm, five star state, mm -hmm. Ogun State. Gateway, okay. I believe it's Gateway State, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got, she got posted to Ogun State. State, yeah. So what was it like in Ogun State camp? Your first, like, once you entered the camp, what was your first thought? Okay, first of all, yeah. Mm. I didn't think I'd enter camp that night. Then, see, 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 see. Mm. That could be 19 tests they did for us. Jesus is Lord. Up in there. <laughs> I met people like I met people like this. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> and then the chick that out did the test for me. She was on a conversation, so I don't even know if she did my own well or did not do well. It was painful. Just stick it up your nose. For five minutes, I was still like this. At least uh, I'm not even joking. Everybody, after we everybody did their own, we were all like this. Where results come out? Well, five minutes. Okay, that's fast. It was actually very fast. You first wash your hand, and then all you drop your box one place then you know mm. go and then the next step is they will ransack your box <laughs> so thank you man that checked my box it wasn't too harsh mm. i don't know i guess because i look small and fragile so she's actually quite small <laughs> <laughs> so it was really it was okay he checked my box and everything and you have to give um you have to submit any sharp object you're not supposed to go with the fork i left my metal hanger there so so Can yeah metal? i just felt like it's not break <laughs> <laughs> so I felt like it not break, so I carried it, and then I carried it for because I usually don't eat spoon, you know that. Mm. So, but they took that. What was the environment like generally? Was it beautiful? Was it dirty? You know, it was dark. So I got there around seven. By the time I finished mm. everything and every, everything, okay, was around get ten. I didn't view. get to see the, a good view. So from there, we now went to the mommy market. It's called the mommy market in every NYC camp. Mm. They have everything you need. Mm. See. I don't know what they don't have in those cars, but it's like almost. I think the prices were almost double because I guess we're coppers and everything. Mm. What do they not do in Mami Cab? They were cutting shoes, slim fitting shoes. Are you serious? You slim fitting shoes? <laughs> Jungle boots because it's very, it's very unlikely you get your exact size. size. So they will cut their their shoes. Mm. I was like, interesting. Do you know what used to think of that thing? Like sometimes I'll get shoes. I'm like, I wish I could cut this. I never knew it was a thing. They, cut, they actually do it. Your khaki is very unlikely you will get your size yes, too. Yeah. So basically, we're still getting there, we're still getting there. But just know that if you get your size, it's by the grace of God. Mm. I got my size for khaki, but my shoes were extremely big for me. Mm. So, so you cut your shoes too? No. Uh, get into that sauce now. Get into that sauce. So people that work in that mommy market, do they live in the camp? Apparently, from what I understand, they come for those three weeks. Okay. And then go. Okay. So they are not allowed to leave camp premises. Okay. So it's like they're also camping with us. Oh, okay. Every official on camp camped with us. They all had their individual rooms. Mm. Tattoo leaders and everything. They all camped with us. They were eating the camp food that we were eating. That they were eating. Mm? I didn't do that with them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So um up next, the major drama. So me thinking, okay. It's the first day, you know. Next morning, they're not gonna chase us out a parade. No, we just you're just jolly, just calm, no stress. I woke up, got down from my bunk, went take a shower, came back. Next thing is, bum, ba, da, bum, ba, so away. lucky enough for you, woke up on time. Hmm, it's by the grace of God. What time did you wake up? I don't even know. I think around four. 
four, four you thirty. You woke up by four. Brenda will be the other day. No, shut up. I didn't wake <laughs> up by six thirty. You're, you're you're insulting yourself. So then, um, thankfully, so the thing is, I went with a big box. Mm. It was big, trust me. But my bucket entered, so I had everything I needed mm. inside my box. I went with everything. See, let me give you straight up essentials you need for camp. One, mm-hmm. buy sunscreen. That it is, it is by the grace of God I'm still this color. Because as I'm standing here, nothing in me now resembles me that time. That time, nobody yellow here. I don't become white. And that time, my shape is not like this. I can't wear clothes straight like this. This place, hip, 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 hip. And my waist become tiny. I'm not joking. And my hair, long, rich hair. And this is not the voice I'm using there. My voice is very, very romantic and sweet. Everything about me. Now that one come pay me. But if I leave my beauty for me. He took everything away. The only thing to recognize I'm still for I'm yellow. I'm a fair girl. Yellow purple in emphasis. But let me tell you, I'm buns. I'm sun fried. Mm. And thank God, the sunscreen actually helped a whole lot. Yeah. So number one, you need sunscreen. Number two, go with enough whites. Because you won't always have time to mm-hmm. go with enough pairs of socks. Good. Carry enough provisions. Then carry yeah, what else? So that's what I went with. So the next morning, hmm, soldiers came to chase us out. See how I wore my bra, eh? You don't know. <laughs> it's the grace of God because I dressed up outside hostel. I'm not even joking. It was one leg I was holding. <laughs> male, male, male soldiers. Female of... soldiers. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, can people calm down? Can you calm down? Like outside, outside. And there's one thing I would say. If you are inside the hostel by this time, you are wrong. <laughs> you, are say. you are wrong. If you are still walking, <laughs> you are wrong. On paragraph, if you are sitting down, if you are sitting down, you are wrong. wrong. <laughs> Anything is, you are wrong. I'm like, hey. my platinum inspector. She was a love. She's a lovely woman. Do you want to call her name? I will not call her. I don't want to say it badly because uh, okay. mommy no, she knows boom. She's very sweet, 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 sweet woman. Very funny and jolly. She just she was just very motherly. Mm. I think I was really blessed to have her as a platinum inspector. And as a short girl that I am, um so I, not a I started girl. see you, short during, girl during the course of this <laughs> vlog, you understand why I'm a short girl. Mm. So <laughs> I know. I started. I helped her when I did finish my own registration. I was waiting to get my khaki and everything and my white mm. and everything. So she, she, she told me I should come and help her. That's how I started registering other coppers. Mm. So every platoon leader has a group, group of platoon inspector has a group of people that they, the coppers that they ask to help come and help them yeah. register. So well, I'm, were you one of the first people to come to the camp? Um, yes. I was one of the first five hundred. I was three hundred okay. and something. Okay. Yeah. So, the, do you know how many people are something. supposed to be in, in your camp? We should be about up to 2,000. Are you serious? Up to 1,000, 2,000. So, yeah. That's a lot. So, I was entering the camp, I was 200 or something, where in registration I was 300 or something. Okay, okay. Because of the whole lining up for this thing and whatnot. Then, um, they give you your khaki. So, they just, how they did is just arrange everything. This khaki, white, shorts, socks. Your, so, you just have pick. everything you pick. So I was one of the people that helped arrange it. So mm. that also gave me privilege because my tennis shoes were not my size. Have to mind you, you were most likely. Hey, so as you're picking, you're not. They don't give you the chance to pick your size. Just no, pick and no, go. no. You just pick and go. So that's what I'm getting to. Just know you will most likely not get your size. So just look around for people that you can exchange with. Mm. Because to reduce khaki on the mommy market was three thousand, two thousand naira to just slim feet. Cut tra- shoes was two thousand naira too, and there's somebody else that needs that size. It reduces three thousand naira. What? So just wait. I cannot someone. go outside camp and find a book. You see, once you enter camp, you're not leaving. I thought you said you were sure again. I'm not supposed not to leave. <laughs> I don't know which are level, please. <laughs> but you're not leaving, so everybody and like once you enter except you have exit and exit means you're leaving camp you're not coming back the only time you come back to collect your um permanent place of assignment a place of permanent assignment where you'll be posted PPA. to your ppa that's the only time you come back but once you leave you're not coming 
in once you when you enter you're not going out okay okay that's just it so you cannot you cannot go out so just look for someone you can exchange with so as a short girl i don't know my khaki was my 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 jungle boots was not my size some guys helped me look for someone that needed my size because i had a size nine Mm. shoe was big it was big so they helped me find someone that would be a size my jungle was actually a size seven okay my, my feet is a size six <laughs> i'm exhausted then my partner in that that's when she now asked me to please come back and continue helping her mm. but i was so exhausted and coming back so getting back to hostel i took like took like at least one hour to get my size mm. searching for my size hmm. i thought that they will have mercy. I'll go back to my hostel and sleep. Little did she know. I got there. You, I must get that soundtrack for you to do. For, put it there. And then I had to go to the parade ground. In the afternoon. Hot soon. See, that was the beginning of my fry. That's when we now change from our mufti to white on white. Okay, okay. After you, after everybody has collected their white, mm-hmm. you must change. Yeah, you must change. So, um, during the tough part. So, being a short girl as I am, I said, I escaped parade for three days because I was helping my platinum inspector register couples. So, because of that, I was inside the hall. I was sitting down. My that pairs, fun, collective fun. My pairs were in the parade ground, suffering and taking side classes for five hours five hours jesus is lord now the day reality struck me was after registration finished god said skill acquisition and entrepreneurship entrepreneurial development so it is like cdr okay, okay. yeah this is blah, blah. when you're out of business acquisition blah 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 for me personally i think the aim behind it is really good but I found out that a lot of people did it in their university. If you miss it, if you miss your boss, you've missed your boss, pa. Mm, yeah. Some of us, like, it was just not needed. It was only, I would not say it was not needed. And then it's one thing to know, it's one thing to have good information. And it's another thing to know how to say it. Because some of the class, they were just boring. Some of what they were saying was actually, majority of what they were saying actually made sense. Yeah. It was important information. But the way they said it was so boring. That was when I got the sleep. I did not get at night <laughs> because, but that was before I finally. So that's before I finally settled in to know how I can sleep because during those times, no earphones, you cannot press your phone, you cannot do those soldiers are work, walking around. Hmm. So that day I got to the stadium late. I heard that some people did not have stadium, other camps did not have stadium. Also have stadium. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's under sun. So um, I was sitting late and I was where. The sun was hitting me. Mm. I was there for about one hour, two hours. I'm like, Jesus, I cannot do this anymore. I went to when I sat on the floor. I said, This is just, I was sweating. That's where I was really burnt. Like, mm. I was sunburned. The, the sunscreen did not work. The cap did not work. That was when I, you know, it was, it was terrible. So, after that, my platinum inspector asked me to go for Miss NYC to represent our platinum Miss NYC. So, we started rehearsals. I got parade. <laughs> what? Yet so again. when people were going to the parade ground, I was going to the most purpose hall to go and rehearse and um it was fun. It was not really fun because we were dancing and dancing. I cannot listen to baby calm down now because hey we danced that song at least eight times in one day. I'm not even joking. Baby calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Hey, I can't listen. To, I do not have that song on my phone. I can't. Because. No. <laughs> no. Then fast forward, because I was hardly on the parade ground. Man o' war. Now I enjoyed man o' war. When so you go under the barbed wire, you now climb those netty stuffs and you now jump this and do that. But some of us, our khaki was too tight. So you try it. It's too tight. <laughs> so I already wore tight under because a baby girl is packaged. You know what I'm saying. So there are some things I didn't do, and I always tell you if you just did a surgery or you just had a child or just did abortion, there are some things you're not supposed to do. So there's some there are some you'll not do at all. But that was one of the best things I enjoyed in the man of war. If I had, that's one thing I'd like to do again. Then 
there was manual, there was football, volleyball, there were different activities, and people enjoyed it, people that liked to, to stress themselves, because I there were also people that were running, all this sports thing, cultural dance. I met a lot of Yoruba people, I have a lot of Yoruba contacts on my phone now, I didn't... I didn't have before. It was just mm. nice learning from. I learned what Idi means in Yoruba. Idi Araba. Is it not Nyash? It is Nyash. <laughs> so, that's one of the things I learned. That's one of Yoruba words. A caro, a kale, um. Idi Araba. No, a caro is good morning. Kale is good afternoon. It taught us how to greet. Yeah. I should have paid more attention, honestly speaking. When I won Miss NYSC, it was a nice experience. Mm. I was tired. I really, I think, I, I honestly speaking, I want to think by the grace of God because final coming out, I was busy sitting. I was sitting down and resting outside. I don't know my mates had gone on stage. Oh, you serious? They came. Some guy walks up to me and he's like, oh, you're really doing well. Aren't you part of them now? Aren't you part of the party? I'm like, yeah. So that they're on stage. And they said, plateau five. Plat- Can you see your life? I was running. <laughs> so everybody had really lined up on stage and so that's the thing. Looking for the place of questions. Hey. What kind of questions they ask you? Um, what's the name of the Senate president? What is NYC in full? Who what is the platoon? Um what are the four um arms of NYSC? Mm. We learn all these different intrinsic things about NYSC. Um who is the president, who's governor, who's the um, DG of NYSC? who's a camp commander and everything so every camp has their camp commander and camp yeah camp commander camp coordinator nyc coordinator for that state so you have to know you know all these things i got an a president <laughs> i kid you not i couldn't remember jack they got a video of, i was literally tapping like so <laughs> <laughs> I said it low key. I'm like, Jesus. You know, not hear me. He said, okay, say it again. And I said, I'm like, and that is correct. I said, so I was walking back. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I did not think I got the right answer. Mm. So for our own camp, you come out in your white on white. You dance in your white on white. Then you can't walk in your white on white and heels. Then you come out with your traditional attire. And then you now, after traditional attire, you come out with your six over seven, your khaki. Mm. So you wear the khaki and um, at the time yeah. I was going from the mommy market and everything. So my platinum people are the ones that rented it. I didn't spend money. Yeah. Then um, yeah, your platinum people, did your platinum contribute? Yes, they contributed money. Okay. And then so there's big bold and beautiful Mr. Macho and Miss NYSC. So Mr. Macho is basically the big Mr. bold and beautiful. Is for yeah, the curvy ladies. Not curvy. You have to be thick tall big bold and beautiful so some people guys and girls no just girls which guy will come out and say it's big bold and beautiful <laughs> then for mr macho mr macho is basically mr nyc or yeah. mr macho to come out <laughs> there's a time when they unfortunately i did not see it but they come out wearing just short boxers and they put oil on their skin shut up <laughs> and then you know they not flex their muscles there's one guy that did, 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 did. i'm like ah! Yeah. In Lagos town, there's one guy that carry bag of rice with his teeth. Some guys, eh? With his teeth, isn't there? Oh, he's not match again. That one is. There's one guy carry a fat girl. Him. Him. I was doing wrestling. He, 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 yeah. He now Rest lifted her up. You just show that you're strong. Mm. Do you understand? I don't get to see. It made me sad. Because I really wanted to see. How come I flex muscle, you know? Mm. So. Okay. I, I wish bad. I'd seen that. I'm still going to look for the videos. For anybody that did Mr. Match, I'm going to look for that video and I will see it. <laughs> so and that's then, round it up, right? Mm, okay, I won a two plate burner. Okay, yeah, yeah. The and then when you win Miss NYC, you get to you reposted to the state capital. Mm. Mr. Match or Miss NYC, first runner up and second runner up. You reposted to the state capital. Right, so can you rate NYC? Honestly, rate it out of 10. And the idea between with the MYC came with it, it's, it's really it's a good behind idea. It. It's really nice. Mix up people, get into different cultures because they did um cultural carnival. Every different cultures will come in, different platforms will represent different cultures. They do the dance, sometimes they cook the food. So it was interesting seeing okay, this like that's when I learned that Calaba sorry, Cross River has about 50 different tribes. 
I'd say six seven. Six seven. Let's give it a seven. So she rates NYC as a seven. A seven, yeah. Mm. But honestly, if I'm being honest, I camp was good. Yeah. People suffered in other camps. So yours was good. Mine was good. So I think that's why it's a seven. So you give your camp a ten out of for camp it's Thank you, this guys. Had, this is not comprehensive. You want the food? Just email follow me. Email no, me. follow you on Instagram and then you do a questionnaire, bro. Or you do a poll or something like that. Yeah, I think I should do a questionnaire. Or maybe I'll do it to my JB signature because my personal account is private. So, so maybe I'll do JB signature. Yeah. Follow her on JB signature for detailed. I'll do an IGTV story. Yeah, IG yeah. live, probably. Yeah. Instagram live. I'll do that. I should do that. Coming up this week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye